Hello everybody and welcome back to another race vlog. My name is Ollie and you have joined us for season two of the Zwift Racing League Category B. For those of you that have watched before, you know I am a mid Cat B rider, weighing in at now 75.7 kilograms, uh, FTP of about 276. So today we have got Rural Mapool course, which is an interesting one to start us off at. Uh, quite punchy, couple of climbs. You've got the first one here. I put on the right hand side a little map, but an interesting start. We have got the Petit K run reverse, which is a 2.8K climb at 5% average. Just running it forward here. Now the aim as per usual is to stay within the front group. I should, or I felt okay before the race with this first climb and staying with the front group actually. My issue was then what was gonna happen? How much would I have left for the remainder of the race? So if we get back to the action here, we can just see just coming up to the top. And right now I'm feeling pretty comfortable, although my face tells a different story as does my heart rate, 173, 174. So yeah, managed to get to the top though with the front group. Struggling a little bit here, but overall satisfied. As you can see on the screen, there has been a little bit of a split already, which I kind of expected. And now my job is just to sit in, in this front group, sit at the back, save some energy, ready for the next sprint slash KOM, which is in fact, the Aqueduct KOM, which we're coming up to here. So the Aqueduct KOM is 3%, uh, 420 meters long. So not the, not the longest in the world. I kind of felt good enough here to maybe give it a little, a little go, try and get some first across the line points. Don't think I was gonna be ever quick enough to get the uh, fastest through. But I thought I'd just surf the wheels here, just sit at the back, and then as we get to the top, try and push on a little bit. So the plan is working so far. I'm sat just behind the front of the group. Haven't got a power up to use, which is no problem. Because as you can see, most are using the steamrollers anyway. There are a few arrows there. So yeah, at this point, I'm sort of thinking right now, I need to really crack on and sprint for the finish. Unfortunately, the legs had other ideas. And as you can see, I am falling back. I'm quite concerned actually that I'm actually gonna drop off this group. Looking at the screen, there are a few riders behind me, so I'm not sort of very, you know, at the very back of the pack. However, I kind of can see another little split coming up behind me now. So I just need to try my hardest to, to get back on and stay within this group because the front group is bigger than the back group. I feel like if I, if I fall to the back group, they're never catching back on. However, as you can see in front of me, there's another little gap opening, which is through, I guess, no fault of the, you know, person in front. They're probably as knackered as I am. So yeah, I've got a choice here, whether or not now I decide to try and close the gap, or whether I just sit in in this group and let the back group come to me and see if I can work back onto the front group. And I choose the latter. I'm just gonna sit in here because up next, we've got the Parve Sprint, which is 330 meters long. I have got nothing here for this, absolutely nothing. I really just wanna stay with this group. That is the only goal I have here. I'm never gonna break any uh, records through this one. I've got an invisibility power up, which is not very helpful at all. Only, I guess, because of the position that I'm in. Might have been more helpful if I was somewhat towards the front and actually had any legs to push forward. But I think everyone else pretty much had the same idea here, just to sit in as a group. And now I guess the, the plan is to try and work our way back to that main group, which is possible because actually this group started to work quite well. And as you'll see in a second, we do actually manage to find a little bit of pace, even though I need to recover for the, the next sprint, which is the Marina sprint, 340 meters long, but we're not quite there yet. So as you can see here, we're just coming up to the, the back of the, the front group. 
Now, I think my position, what, 38, 37th, as we just roll this forward here. Kind of saving energy, trying to stay at the back of the pack for as long as I can. Thing is, when, when, I, when I find that you see a group in front, the pace automatically increases, whereas I think if we could just keep a steady pace, we would just catch them anyway, but didn't take too much effort to get back onto the front group, which was pretty cool. So now I'm thinking, OK, I've got a little bit of a chance now to, to finish up higher. The, the group behind is, well, you're looking at 1 minute 32 probably for the actual group behind. We've got a couple of individuals that are caught in between groups. In fact, that position is exactly where I, I don't want to be. So I'm glad to be sat in the front of the group here. So as we come on to the Marina Sprint, as I said before, 340 metres long. I'm just trying to stay with the group, knowing that once again we've got the Petit KOM Reverse coming up. As you can see, I'm not doing too bad a job. Positionally, I'm, I'm where I need to be, but this 328 plus watts is, is really hurting me. I don't have a power up to use. Got a few arrows going off there. And it's an interesting topic of uh, discussion, whether or not power ups should be allowed in these ZRL races. You know, it's a game after all. I'm kind of okay with them, to be fair. I guess it is is pretty random, so you're not always going to get the worst power-ups, you're not always going to get the best power-ups. Anyway, sort of come through that relatively unscathed and back with the front group ready for the final climb, which is, you know, in my head already not looking good. It reminded me of when I had the the climb towards the end of last season and knowing that I'm just going to sort of fall off the back. So my aim here once again is just to finish you know, as high up as I possibly could, try and threshold my way to the the end, not worry too much about that front group, which is, once again, an interesting question. So should I potentially have used a couple more matches and tried sticking with that front group for as long as possible to get as far away as I possibly could have done? Because as you can see, they sort of drift away. I got six seconds and, well, 12, 13 seconds back to... Uh, a couple of riders behind and now it's just a case of trying to hang on unfortunately you know I'm trying to hold around 270 watts but it's not really happening I'm you know, 250 to 260 is pretty much what I'm ad averaging here and you can see that the guys behind are catching you know one's already passed I've got one a couple at four seconds one at five seconds and then one at 37 seconds so you know here with 0 0.7, 0 0.6k to go, I'm kind of thinking, right, worst place is going to be 39th, but just, you know, try my best. Try my best to get as high up as possible. As you can see, we've got a rider up in front who uses a actually power up to, to pretty good effect in a second, he uses the invisibility power up to quite good effect. So I'm quite happy just sat behind at the moment. And then, yeah, uses the power up, disappears. So I'm not sure what's going on. I've got no one to follow anymore in my head. So I'm just kind of thinking, well, hopefully he's there. But at 244 watts, you know, there you go. He's just popped up the road. And it's a little bit too much to ask to get back in and get back up into him, really. Um, so now I've just got the two behind that I'm thinking about giving it my all, ready for the finish. And... Unfortunately, it was just going to be one of those days where I just didn't have the mental strength to, to push on through. You can see that in my facial exp expressions, I'm, I'm struggling quite a bit. But like even here, I should have kicked on and I just, I just didn't. I was almost satisfied with, with 39th as a worst case scenario. So in comparison to last season, you know, come across the line here, 39th. But in comparison to last season... Not a terrible start. I think I finished 50th at the start of last season, so we're up to 39th. So something to kind of be happy about. I stuck up on screen here the uh, the league table. Unfortunately, we kind of finished 14th, and our issue is, you know, fastest through segments and first across the line points. We're just not getting any at the moment. Um, so as a team, we need to have a think about that, really. But good work from the guys. Uh, some, some strong performances there. And, yeah, bit of work to do for us for the rest of the season really but 
you know, I'm, I'm relatively satisfied. As you can see, I've stuck up on screen my Zwift Power results. So not my best stats, but uh, yeah, pretty good. I really hope you've all enjoyed today's race. Please consider giving me a like or a subscribe or hit me with a comment. Be really interested to hear what you think about the race and my tactics. Anyway, thanks again. I'll see you on the next one.